directing these with Viviana Guzman. Uh, if you look in your program, you'll see her incredible accomplishments, feats, travels, uh, citizen of the world, uh, uh, flautist par excellence, and our conductor of chamber flutes. It's our great pleasure to present Viviana Guzman. to say a couple words. We're going to start with a piece that was made famous by Masterpiece Theater. Do you remember hearing that theme on TV? Raise your hand so I can see. All right, you will recognize this piece. This is our first group. This is our youngest group, and they're going to be playing two pieces. Uh, the theme for Masterpiece Theater, which is called Rondo by Moray, and then we're going to do the Bach Badinari from the Suite in B minor. And for the suite, we have two soloists. Our first flute is Daniel, and yes, and Daniel and Katie. Wave to everybody, Katie. They're going to be taking the solo line. So enjoy the map theme from Masterpiece Theater.
Next on the program, while we're getting situated, are going to be members of our most advanced group. And we're going to be playing a Vivaldi concerto. So this has kind of been an afternoon of concertos, huh? Our soloist for this piece will be Mandy. Say hi to Mandy. <laughs> and this is Vivaldi's La Notte, meaning the night. Vivaldi was a priest and also educator. He composed all his comp compositions for both orphanage in Italy and, Vienna, and Venice. And he had a school of young ladies, young, not ladies, I would say, young girls, orphanage, and he would compose all this music for them. So this is Vivaldi's La Notte. So we have a plan. <laughs> We're going to try um, playing, or presenting the next group, which involves everyone, and I'm hoping that will have a miracle, and somebody, and it's uh, the Vivaldi music that Maya is missing will be in somebody's folder. So let's just try the large group, which includes members of the first group and the third group, and combined it is a, another group. Our first piece here is the Blue Danube Waltz by Johann Strauss. And Strauss apparently had, when they had the premiere of this piece, it was not very successful. And he presumably has been said to say, ah, I give it to the devil, or something like that. Um, and little did he know that it would become an insanely popular piece to play, especially for New Year's. So this is the Blue Danube Waltz by Johann Strauss.
while we're getting situated and looking for the Vivaldi. <laughs> I wanted to show the difference between Mandy, why don't you play a D major scale so that everyone gets to know. This is the normal flute, go ahead. Just that much, and then alto flute. Play the same scale, let's hear you. The same figure? No. So she had to actually finger what she knows to be A major, but she's playing it on the alto flute. So it's it's a perfect fourth below the C flute. Now, Samantha, would you like to do a D major scale? <laughs> How about Annalisa? On the bass flute, so they can hear it. Just do a D major scale. So thankful to have Samantha and Annalisa volunteering to specialize and play. This is what happened outside. The, the sheets go flying all over the place. Now, who has a binder? Uh, Daniel, show everybody your binder. This is how it should be. Now, flip through the pages in there. Daniel, flip through the pages. See, no pages go flying. Nothing. That's the way to do it. Okay, so our next piece is another favorite. I'm sure you will recognize it. This is the Rondo from Eine Kleine Nacht Music by Mozart. A little night music. Thank you. 
Amish by Letera by Schubert is really a wonderful closer. So can we just keep looking through everyone's folder one last time for a Vival missing Vivaldi? Because <laughs> I'd, I'd rather do the Vivaldi before I do the Schubert. Things always happen in concerts. One time, I when before playing, I have to have the, my hair out of my mouth, so I always have a headband. But I forgot my headband, so I, I took off my sock and used it as my headband. <laughs> so these things always happen. We have to just go with the flow. Okay. Thank you. 
So, hmm, moral of the story. <laughs> well, that was amazing. Maya was able to do a transposing as she was reading the C part on her flute in G. And I didn't have music. And anyway, you saw the whole thing. And they dealt with it very professionally, very beautifully. I think everyone was outstanding in that performance. So. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, working with all these young students. It's my amazing, uh, I just absolutely adore them all, and I've watched their prog progress from the beginning of this past school year until now, and it's just been really, really terrific. So I applaud all of you for the commitment to bringing them to rehearsal every Sunday. It's not an easy feat, I know. <laughs> So we look forward to seeing you in future concerts, and thank you so much again.